on the Justice Court. The plaintiff, Francis Ojo, is asking the court to compel his tenant, Mr. and Mrs. Yusuf, to vacate his property. All right. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Francis Ojo versus Mr. and Mrs. Yusuf. That is one of it. Thank you, Akin. You're welcome here. Thank you. Um, what's your name? Mrs. Yusuf. Mrs. Yusuf? Yes, ma'am. Okay, your mind is not around. So, Mr. Francis Ojo. Your Honor. You brought them to court. Your Honor, yes. Claiming that. We want you to evict them. Take possession of the apartment she's occupying. And that you serve them. To serve her the mandatory notices. The two of them. And the seven days notice. Yes. And that is all your claim. That's all. Okay. So what do you have to say to that? Ma, um, your honor. The seven days notice, he didn't give it to me. Even that, till this time. That does not matter. Till if this moment. If, an issue, if it's just an issue of seven days notice, okay. the court can state that issue. It should be given. But do you have a copy of it? I have it. Let me see. But I, um, is your tenancy due there? When did it expire? Last year. Last year. How long ago? When last year? Oh, November. November last year? Yes. And you're talking about just seven days' notice. Well, and you're giving a notice to quit. Let me, let me see the other one, too. So what's the problem? Um, can I? Yes, sure. That's why you're here. Okay. Feel free to talk. Okay. It's there to address it too. Okay. Uh, 2000 and uh, we came in 2019. So it was not from him that we collected the house. With me. It's from uh, one agent, Mr. Ife. So it was later uh, when our rent was due. I wanted to pay another one that he came in that he was the, um, the real landlord that we should be paying and that we should stop paying the fee. So we should be complied. So before, that was uh, during COVID-19, stuff, stuff, stuff. He now came that we should pay that. The rent was no more that he had. He has increased it from 150 to 200. I said, ah, no, we just came in. That you should please, so we, ble uh, we pleaded. That okay, you should allow us to pay the previous rent that later, then the following one, we paid the new one. So we paid. He agreed. Yes, we paid. So after we do pay yearly. So after the six months, I just woke up. Uh, I received a call that somebody was waiting for me outside. So I got a letter from a uh, one uh, delivery man. So when I opened the house, uh, you should quit the yeah, yeah, um, apartment stuff. But like well, we are still in the, our six months, of which our rent has not even due. So I have to call my husband. My husband said, okay, maybe it's because of the 200 or oh, stuff, stuff that. Okay. But we have agreed that in our next payment, we'll pay the amount. So he said, I shouldn't bother. So later, around the, um, July, no, August. So he called, he called me that, Mrs. Hope, you did not. I said, ah, Dad, is it because of what we agreed on that we are going to pay you? And I said, OK. So during that process in stuff, stuff, OK, I'm, we are working towards the 200,000 uh, 200, Naira. So when the, uh, the month that uh, the rent now due, so I now called her, I want to. He said, no, that we should quit. I said, ah, that is no more collecting 200,000. It's now 250,000 Naira. I said, ah, no, it's not easy the way you are just adding, adding money with the situation of the country and all stuff. I said, ah, 
okay, that I should call my husband. I said, okay. Though I'm not the one that collected the house from you, it's my husband, but he doesn't stay with us. He's all this uh, engineering, so traveling, traveling, traveling. So, okay, I will relate it to him. So he called him. I think they settled within themselves that, okay, we can pay that 250. That is good to go with us. I want to renovate the apartment, so like, okay. So later I called again that if you do not from one uh, date to this day, if you do not be able to pay, we should move. So, ah, now you should be patient with us from 200, from 150 to 200 to 250. It's not easy. Uh, be patient with us. Now say, okay, when are you going to pay? Uh, if you do not pay, they, vac they vacate the house. Let's have the possession of the stuff, stuff, stuff. So later, it came to my shop. They brought one notice that they are taking me to cause ah, that is becoming. Just calm down. It's not all these things. We don't need all this. It's sort of tenants and the land. It doesn't. So and I contact my husband. I contact one lawyer, as in his lawyer, that okay should give us time. So when I call my husband, I say, okay, what are we going to do? He said he can't pay that amount again. That. Except if he agrees with us that we should pay. But if he asks us to go away, that we are going back to Ogun State. I said, ah. But that Ogun State we have not, it's not well. He yeah, said, okay, we we'll use that money to complete it. At least go and stay there with your kids. I said, what about all these uh, children, SS3, WAEC, uh, all these changing of schools? And I said, okay. You contact the lawyer that the lawyer should ask him, plead on our, on our behalf to at least give us six months so we can gather ourselves. So I think we did that. I have the copy here. Let me see. Is she stating the correct position? What she said is right. Some are not correct. Mm. This is the one. This is the one we get So, guys, it's. Okay. So, this request came. You requested for six months. Yes. Sometime in November 2021. Yes. Okay. So this is going to expire, I think, next month in May. Yes. So you are ready to move out in May. He even came to my shop afterward, after this letter was served. He said, okay, if I can pay, that should pay. Just one. He doesn't want us to go out that. He just want us to pay so that I can renovate everything. So, okay. If that is the case, it should allow me myself to look for the money because I don't want to go back to Ogun State. Okay. The plaintiff, Francis Ojo, claims that the apartment occupied by Mr. and Mrs. Yusuf is in a state of disrepair. He wants to take possession of the apartment to renovate it. He has served the required quit notices. The defendant, Mrs. Yusuf, claims that the landlord served the quit notice because they did not agree to rent increase. But now, they are willing to pay the increase. George Fumi wades into this matter. There are two things now, okay. right on ground. Okay. You've, have you both agreed that they should live by next month? No. Okay. So, when do you want them to leave? She, we, my honor, we gave her notice on 12 months already now. We gave her notice in March 2021. We are now in April 2022. So we have given her enough time for her to make up her mind and move her from the house. Uh, the utterances from her, the kind of words she passed across to me could not allow me to accommodate her. And the, the, the situation of the house is so bad. I can even, the current picture, I can even show it to you. The house is so bad. I say, what we want to do, we want to renovate the place. Give us time to renovate the place. Even after we finish, if you can take our price, we can give it back to you. But move out. Let's renovate the place. Okay. Um, I can understand your pain. Yes. You know. And if you've been 
all these things that he said, if it's been so, you shouldn't have allowed things to degenerate to that level. Do you understand me? Okay. I don't know. It's between the two of you, you know. But if sometime in November 2021, you requested for, they requested for six months, do you understand? And we're already in the fifth month into it. I'll personally appeal to you to grant them the one month left, that is May, to move out and vacate the premises. So that means by 31st of May, next month, they must leave the premises. So but that you can you have... Pay, my honor, yes. you pay me for those periods. Have you calculated? You've not made it part of the claim. How much is your claim for that? I, I, I have not calculated. It's not part of the case, because would, that would have been the first leg I would have taken, <sighs> that this is the outstanding rent. When are you paying that? Then after that, I would have moved to the second leg of the vacation of the premises. So how much is it? How much are you owing? He's paying 150,000, that's 75,000. Is that how much, is that the amount you are owing? No, no, I'm not the, I'm not the, I will relate it to my husband. I will no, the minute you decided to come to the court, you are representing him. I can give you opportunity to go out and phone him now. You can step out, make a call to him and the get back. The line is no way. The line is no way. And then there's nothing there. You have to commit yourself. You don't have a choice. Let me tell you. The law says you must pay. The only opportunity I'm giving you now is for you to be able to even ask him that you can pay by installments. That's the help I'm trying to do for you now. Otherwise, the, once the judgment is pay rent, that's the law. Is it your house? No. When you were moving, you agreed that you, you live there free without paying? No. So what's the controversy over? Your husband does not want to pay him. Your husband does not want to pay rent. No. So what, what consent do you need from him? For him to, to know, already he should know, and you should know, that the house you are living, you are not living free, it's not your house. You have to pay for it. So that's why I said, you, I just want to be sure that the figure is mentioning is the exact amount that you know that you are owing him. So that I won't give judgment on a sum that is higher than what you are owing. So you said it's 75,000 Naira. Yes. The ideal thing is for you to pay before you leave the premises. So when do you want to pay? That, ma, I'm not sure if I can get that one. Because of uh, where we are relocating to. We are not even in this area. We are going back to Abekuta. So I'm not sure. Maybe you can plead on my behalf. I can't have what What I'm saying, if you can't raise the money once, you have to agree on how you are going to pay by installment or something. But you must pay unless he decides it, he's waiving it for you. He has a choice. His house is not my house. Yes. So I can't say, oh, go, don't pay. He's the only one that can do that. Sir. <laughs> my honor, I told her that <laughs> from the beginning, if I take you to court, you are going to pay me hmm. or better move out. That's the truth. So I told you. Did That's I tell you? Daddy, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. You know, I'm not the owner of, I'm not the owner of the apartment, you know, but I'm not the one that. I'm sorry. Call me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My honor, yes. when is she moving out? May ending. May ending. We said May ending. Beyond that? No, she must move no. out by no. 31st of May. Yes. 31st of May. Mm. Thank you, ma'am. You waved the red waved phone. the money. Thank, Thank you. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, Judge Fumi rules. Okay. So Thank judgment you. for the plaintiff, the defendant is to vacate the premises by 31st day of May 2022. Judgment for the plaintiff. All right. Follow the conversation on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.